So they call it a boat for a reason, because what does boat mean, Professor? Bring on another thousand. <laughs> That's right, another. And in this case, a lot more than a thousand. In fact, $70,000 is what we have spent on the Speechless this off season. And we're gonna show you in this video exactly what that 70,000 bought. Now, some of you are gonna say it's not much, but again, it's a boat. Professor, first big expense that we had, and this came off of getting hit by another boat last year, yeah. and that is we painted the hull. You want to break that down for us? Yeah, well, um, last Memorial Day, a uh, boat out of control came across the harbor. We were here in the slip, we were ready to go fishing. Hadn't even started the engine yet, and crack, 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 hit us in the bow. Anyway, long story short, the people of Blackwell came over, got us patched up so we didn't miss any fishing time, and then we scheduled with them this winter to go ahead and do the major repairs. That's right, so painting the hull, how much was it? $30,000. Ching. Number two big cost, Professor, something that we are officially in love with. Yeah, well, beans we were gonna be inside to get the hole painted. Yes. And our tow rail was looking kinda dull and dingy. She did look dingy. We had Izzy, Izzy Teak. Izzy Teak put on a faux teak, which yep. means not real, a faux teak tow rail, which I had no idea it would set the boat off like it does. A completely different look. This tow rail, I had no idea. It is stunning, it is beautiful. It's crazy how real it looks. Yeah, we debated about spending the money on it. And um, I expressed to you, I was like, Mark, there's other things that we can do without. Yeah. But beans, the boat is gonna be inside. Now is the time to do it. Man, and I'm happy we did it. Yeah. But how much was it? 12,000 bucks. Number three expense, Professor. For those that have been watching the channel, we have been completing the cabin for a while and there was one main element that was still to be done. Tell us about that. Well, inside of all the cabinets that I built uh, were still pretty much raw looking yeah. and uh, just needed, needed to be finished off. And that was kind of what I had been waiting for to happen before I could start all my rod storage and how I laid everything out. So we got we got some girls from uh, Beaufort to come down. Uh, they're, they're affiliated with Matt Penny, mm -hmm. and uh, they did a fantastic job putting carpet inside of the cabinets, and they also did some wallpaper there around the V-Birth. Right, and so. That, that really cleaned everything up. Really cleaned it up. I mean, just made it, made it look uh, so much more finished. And now when you open up, those cabinets and you've got the shiny rods in there and, and and you just got this nice black carpet behind it it's just so finished it looks so good yeah and i imagine just acoustically it probably helps oh, yeah, a little bit sure. up there yeah. as well also acts as a little bit of insulation too not a lot but a little bit nonetheless we got her done and how much was it for that seven thousand bucks big expense number four Professor, and this one we are giddy, giddy, giddy about, and you are gonna be the beneficiary of this. We have a brand new camera. Professor, you wanna tell us, actually we got a couple cameras. Yeah. You wanna tell us about that? Yeah, it's a, a camera system called Surf Vision, and uh, we have one here facing back at the cockpit and the spread, and uh, we also have an underwater camera, and these are all hardwired and uh, they're linked to a DVR and uh, another system that we installed. We'll get to it here in a minute, but uh, everything works in conjunction. We can actually record your day's trip on a thumb drive and uh, we'll have that to offer to you if you come and go fishing with us. And uh, it's just gonna be cool, man. Uh, and it's just amazing. You can now see that view full screen on our Gar Garmin controls, right. which is just awesome. I can even see it from home if I want to oh, yeah. when you're fishing, when yeah. you're reeling in that big bluefin. And eventually our plan now, because of this and what's coming next, we're able to go live, which is gonna be so dang exciting. It so is exciting. 
We constantly struggled with GoPros from the upper areas of the boat last year. You didn't necessarily know it, but it was very difficult. They're constantly getting salt in them and all these issues. We're excited to be one of the first users of this Surf Vision technology here in the Outer Banks area. And uh, our electricians have been learning as they've been doing it oh, because yeah. we're really one of the first ones to get this tech, but it's pretty cool tech. It we're, is pretty cool. We're stoked about it. You're gonna see it on the channel throughout the year. So that though, my friends, how much was this? 15,000 bucks. Expense number five, Professor, goes right along with that surf vision. And thank you, Elon Musk, because now we've got the internet. Starlink, oh, it is here. We've got internet. What makes you so excited about having internet offshore, Professor? Well, it's gonna help us out a lot. Uh, for safety reasons, for one, because we'll have a live feed of the weather, of course, and uh, it'll help us out fishing also because I'll be able to get real-time satellite shots and uh, plus you can just make a phone call if you need to you know that's pretty cool so I'm excited there's, I mean there's just so much about it and, and like we said we're gonna we're figuring out how it works in terms of the data that it draws it's pretty expensive for us to get a terabyte of data which is a lot of data but if you do live video it gets way up there Right now, that's about $1,000. And so we got to weigh out all these things, but we want to bring live video to you. That's what we're trying to achieve. You know how it is here on the channel. We're trying to be the most transparent in terms of just really taking you behind the scenes like this so that you can experience what the costs are like to own, in this case, a sport fishing boat, but just a boat in general. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Of course, we're still not done. We've got a couple small expenses left. Number six expense is lettering. Lettering on the boat, we had, who did that for us? Everett Nautical. Everett Nauti Nautical, great job. They also do Fotique and just a great company. They did a, a tremendous job. We're thrilled with the lettering. It really matches that Speechless brand now. Yeah. Fired up about that and of course, uh, and that, by the way, was about $2,000. Right, let me make sure I got it. Yeah, $2,000. And then the final expense was number seven, rod holders, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but explain what you did, Professor, because it's actually a really big deal for us. Yeah, well, our biggest problem with this boat was storage, rod storage. 40 I mean, foot express, not loaded with storage. That's right. And you'd come down here and want to go spend the night on the boat and the bed just loaded up with rods. You know what I mean? So once we got all that carpet put inside of those cabinets, I was able to put rod hangers in there and uh, really organize all the rods. So now, we pretty have a pretty good storage system going on to where there's not a single rod laying around. You could actually, all the rods can be put away and you can come still use the boat, which is pretty pretty impressive in, in my opinion. But, I mean, it's just, it, it blows your mind how things add up because just in those little rod holders, <laughs> to, to, to do that, it's like 600 bucks for them. Yes. You know what I mean? 600 bucks for that. And that all together, Professor, is $69,600. Doesn't include the regular maintenance that we did on the boat. So we spent well over 70 few thousand dollars. Yeah, and I mean, we had to paint the bottom, replace the zincs on, you know, the, sh the, the shafts yep. and the rudders. And then I had to replace the zincs in all the motors. I mean, it's just a, it's a never ending list, really. Yeah, it is. But we knew that going in, we're enjoying every minute of it. It has been so fun to take this boat from where we got it at the beginning to where it is now. I mean, we've we've put unbelievable amount of hours you put in, in into the cabin, and we put a lot of money overall into it. I mean, I mean we're probably around two hundred thousand dollars almost that we put into it. Yeah. Probably is my guess. That's right. But it is now officially the, the boat that we had dreamt it to be when we saw it. And I, this, and, and I'm not trying to uh, be braggadocious, but we feel like aesthetically now and just functionally, 
we've got one of the best 40 foot express boats on the market. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. We can thank Black Wolf for that. Yeah. And we appreciate all the vendors that have worked with us. Yeah. It's just a nice and unbelievable amount of time and effort that goes into everything and money. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's crazy. I mean, just like that teak back there. I have 12 hours in just sanding that teak. 12 you hours? Know, 12 hours. I was back here sanding. 12 you know, hours. It's That's just a, time. Yeah, a lot of time. Yeah. But the cool thing is the professor here is here all the time now. That's right. Slip number 92 at Pirates Cove Marina in Maniel, North Carolina. He's gonna be running charters all summer long. And so make sure you visit us at speechlesssportfishing.com. We'd love to have you on a trip and experience it with the professor, with his son. I'm there on occasion, get a video of the day, all that stuff you get to experience here. We want you to be a part of this movement, really. The community is blowing up. We've now passed 10,000 subscribers, and I think it's just off to the races from here, but we appreciate you. We appreciate your support. Please continue to support us. Tell your friends about it. And until the next time, everyone, stay salty.